Hi, I'm the IntensiveMD, a board-certified intensivist, here to give you an inside look into the intensive care unit. So I've done a lot of videos about resuscitation, a lot of videos about CPR, and I know I've talked about this briefly in those videos, but I wanted to make a video dedicated to the complications and consequences of CPR and resuscitation. We perform CPR when somebody's heart stops beating. The purpose of the chest compressions is to push on the chest, push down the heart so it forces the blood out of the heart into the rest of the body so the person's organs can continue to get the oxygen nutrition that the blood delivers. Many times, even though we're doing good chest compressions, the longer time a person is without a pulse, they're not getting the typical blood pressure that they do and nutrients and oxygen circulating through their body that they would if they still had a pulse and their heart was beating on its own. So the consequence of this is their brain will not be seeing the amount of oxygen it usually does and the brain uses a lot of oxygen to do its job. Without oxygen, parts of the brain may become permanently damaged. And this is a case of anoxic brain injury. I've talked about this in prior videos. I even talked about the difference between this and brain death. But it is a permanent state. It usually leaves the patient severely debilitated. They may not do much more than open their eyes in some situations. Other organs may suffer as well. The kidneys and liver are two big ones that if they don't see the amount of blood, oxygen, nutrients that they're used to, then they become injured as well, and the patient might have acute kidney injury or acute liver injury. When these organs are injured, then they may not be able to do their job properly. Over time, as the patient improves, if they survive CPR and are able to get better, their kidneys may, may improve and their liver may improve, but sometimes they are left with permanent damage to these organs from not having a high enough blood pressure, or even if the patient is resuscitated successfully, gets a pulse, they may still die because of these organs continuing to fail. The other consequences of CPR I know a lot of people talk about are the physical complications. If somebody's pushing on your chest with enough force to push the blood out of your heart, circulate the rest of your body, they need to be pushing pretty hard. So the breastbone or sternum can crack and ribs can crack and break. It is very common for someone who's had CPR to have broken ribs. There are even times where the broken ribs and pushing on the chest can cause a lung to collapse or cause blood to enter the chest cavity around the lung and cause something called a hemothorax and that just means blood in the chest cavity. In both of those situations, a collapsed lung, which is also called a pneumothorax, or blood in the thoracic cavity, also called a hemothorax, we have to place a large tube into the chest to drain out the air or drain out the blood because if that continues to compress the lung, it's not able to expand and do its job. There are also emotional and psychological consequences of going through CPR and knowing that your heart stopped. I plan to do a future video further discussing the mental health and emotional consequences of being an ICU patient in general, but there absolutely is PTSD associated with prior CPR. So the obvious consequence of not having CPR is death, but if we were to resuscitate a patient, these are the complications that may occur. And the longer somebody is receiving CPR without having a pulse return, then the more likely they are to have some organ damage from that, and the more chest compressions they're getting, the more likely they are to have ribs break or have, you know, the collapsed lungs or blood enter the thoracic cavity. I have an entire playlist about resuscitation. I'm probably going to add this video to it. But if you have any interest in hearing more about CPR or see me react to some TV CPR, I will leave a link to the playlist up here. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.